I look fucking good. Today, I'm in a great mood. If you saw my last video about the gun law changes that just happened in California, you saw that I was in a pretty shitty mood. Um, pretty bummed. Some not so great news happened. Gavin Newsom signed a lot of laws that I really don't agree with and I think that are really going to hurt California gun owners very deeply. However, today I'm in a great mood for a couple of reasons. One of them is a little bit bigger than the other and a little bit more related to firearms, but the other are just as valid. One, I got a new fucking haircut finally. It's been weeks and months since I got a haircut, which was much needed. Two, my best friend is getting married this Saturday, so that's pretty goddamn neat. And three, that you probably actually might care about, um, other than my haircut and friend getting married. Franklin Armory just released an absolute fucking banger of a gun. Now, as a California resident, I haven't been excited for a new gun release in probably six years, I would say. Um, now, I've seen things in the gun industry or parts or guns that I might have been interested in, but as a Californian, if I see a new handgun, I'm not going to be able to buy it unless I want to pay twice retail. And if I see a new rifle, chances are I'm going to have to convert it to some sort of featureless fixed mag or other weird bolt action category that totally negates the purpose of the gun. We can't get suppressors. We can't get any cool NFA items. But just recently, Franklin, the other day, out of nowhere, dropped this absolute bombshell of a gun. I'm picturing it right here. I don't have it with me, but I'm working on getting one. This is the Title I by Franklin Armory. Now, this gun is not a rifle, it's not a pistol, and it's not a shotgun. The biggest reason why that's important is if you look at the California assault weapon ban laws, they first start with rifles. They say a semi-auto centerfire rifle with a detachable magazine that has any of the following features. Hence, the need to either go fixed magazine, like a cross armory, maybe a bear flag defense, um, many other manufacturers that make fixed mag stuff. Those are just some of my personal favorites. Featureless, like I have many of my guns. For example, this lightweight AR that I built uh, about a year or so ago that I made a video on recently. This is my defensive rifle, featureless, you know, non-pistol grip, fixed stock, non-vertical foregrip, muzzle brake, that kind of deal. Or like my AR-10, another option that is featureless, legal in California, but maybe not the coolest because of the modifications we have to make. Now, the gun that Franklin Armory released that you probably saw a photo of just a second ago is none of those things. It's not fixed mag, it's not bolt action, and it's not featureless. It's a fully featured semi-auto centerfire firearm. Now, there's a couple things to do with it that I'm not going to go too deep into, but the way it's legal in California is because it's not a rifle. Therefore, it doesn't have to be featureless or fixed magazine. It's not a pistol. So it doesn't have to fall in with those categories either. And it's not a shotgun, obviously. This is a rifled barrel, semi-auto firearm. Now, I'm saying firearm because it is not a categorized firearm type like a rifle, pistol, shotgun. Because it's never had a stock on it, and because it's got a barrel over 16 inches, making it the overall length over 26 and over 30, this makes it California compliant. The interesting thing is, I spoke with Franklin, they said that they could not ship it from the factory with a, with a stabilizing brace, but there are no laws currently preventing you from, once you get it, slapping a brace on that bad boy and having a good old time. As soon as I'm able to get my hands on one of these guns, I'm going to be doing a review on it because I want this thing. I have never, and I mean... <sighs> I don't remember the last time that I've been excited about a gun purchase. You could see it in my face, clearly. I am ecstatically stoked right now. I don't think I have ever been this excited about a gun. And I really like guns, so that's saying something. For only 950-ish bucks, this is really a no-brainer for Californians. Slap a stabilizing brace on that bad boy, and you have a normal-ass firearm that is perfectly capable for home defense, target shooting, range planking, got a detachable magazine, and all the features you could get your hands on. This is honestly something that I'm very excited about. I wanted to make a quick video just showing you guys that this thing exists and this is gonna be crazy. I'm gonna leave a link to Recoil Web. Um, they had a little review video or a re little review article about it, kind of describing it a little bit more, showing some more pictures. 
Franklin really knocked the ball out of the park. First, you know, they got their CA7 pistol, which I think is super cool, but for me personally, I'm not much of a fixed mag kind of guy, so eh, not the biggest cup of tea for me. But this thing right here is basically everything I want in a featureless gun, but it has the features. I can use my 30 round mags, I've got a pistol grip, a collapsible and adjustable stabilizing brace, flash hider, because I think flash hiders are better for home defense than muzzle brakes, but it is what it is, and with featureless, that's what I'm limited to. And I could have a vertical foregrip. Eh, I'm not the biggest fan of vertical foregrips, but you could still use them like a horizontal grip, um, or like a angled grip, so I'm super stoked. As soon as I can get my hands on one of these things, I'm going to. I already, you know, in the middle of the night when I saw this link a couple days ago, I sent a message over to my favorite gun dealer and said, hey, as soon as you get one of these in, I want them. <laughs> Needless to say, I'm excited, and I think this is something big for California gun owners. Um, we haven't had something like this in quite a while. The CA7 by Franklin was pretty cool, but this is a game changer in all honesty. This kind of negates completely all of the assault weapon ban laws that there currently are in California, and that is just a beautiful beautiful thing and i am so excited to get my hands on one of these hope you have a great day hope this was informative i'll leave some links below peace